Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. And it's a little bit uneven coming up here, but it's not too bad. This, tell you what, for all the power of this big bud, it's genuinely struggling here a little bit, isn't it? That's actually really cool. I love the fact that it's making it, it's genuinely making it struggle to get up that hill. That is awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, right through there and take out those little bushes there. I don't, ooh. It's actually drifting sideways. This enormous great big cultivator, culti plow type thing, is drifting sideways. I'm sure it's not supposed to do that. We will go straight here towards those trees over there, and then we'll start to sort of move round in a sweeping curve again. Like that, because we've got that tree right in front of us. And we don't want to get too close to the tracks either. So we'll leave out the other bushes. Oh, there's one little tiny bush there on the side that I did want to get. Now, I'm thinking down this side, I'll run the wheels along the edge of the existing field. And then that will... Allow us to get a little bit closer to the tracks, but we're not going to get so close that it's going to cause us any issues. I don't want to get too close to those tracks. And we, we have only got one planting and one harvest that we need to do off of here. So we haven't got, like, got, we, we haven't got a huge amount of things that we need to concern ourselves with. But we do still have uh, something that we need to concern ourselves with. Um, we, we don't want, um, like... When we, we can do the planting, we can sort of guide the machinery around the edges and that that'll be great. But I don't want to go so close that it's ridiculous because I still want to be able to leave the hired help doing things and rely on those, especially when we come to doing the harvest because the harvest is going to take a while. If we're planting cotton across absolutely everything here, it is going to take a little while to harvest, even though we're planning on having a fair number of harvesters running. I mean, that, that, that's... What I'd like, in an ideal world, I do want quite a number of harvesters running. Um, so the, the more the merrier for the entire thing. Um, so, yeah, we, we're going to have to kind of wait and see on this. Now, let's just make that a little bit bigger. Field 8 is... We've still got the hired help running over there on field 8. Um, and then if you look right down at the farm, the mower is still running as well by the look of it. Um, I'm just drifting this one in towards the track a little bit more. And I think we're going to end up having to go a couple times around the field in order to get this started. Now, standard um, cotton harvesters are very slow. So I did sort of talk about this before. And most of you said that you'd be happy for me to use the Stevie Mod um, cotton harvesters. The ones that run faster. Um, even if uh, what I might do, what I might do so that we sort of got both the realism and the Stevie mod sort of um, the best of both worlds is I might get one Stevie mod harvester and I'll use that one to go round the edges of, well, certainly go around the edge of this field and round the edge of the field over there on our left. There's 17, 16, all, all of those over there. Um, I'll use the Stevie mod to go around those fields and this one right here that I'm currently plowing up. And then we use the standard harvesters to work on the rest of the field. And I'm thinking that we would probably go for literally as many harvesters as we can. We've got um, trailers that we can use for picking up the cotton. We've got trailers that are self-loading trailers that we can use. And then we can transfer over into proper cotton module trailers as well. Right, I'll bring that over to there and... I'm sort of thinking that that will do on there for a minute. So I'll bring that one up this way. And I want to start moving that one up. But what I'm going to do before I start moving that one is I'm going to go over to this big bud. Oh. I've still got another line to do. Is that going to actually do the line or not? i bring it round. I'm curious if this is actually going to do it or not. I'm, I'm really hoping it will. Yes, it will. It's missed a big chunk. Let me just go back a minute. Grab that. And then go forward. Is it going to get the whole lot? Uh, I'm hoping it will. 
We've got the hired help going on it. I'm hoping the hired help will carry on up through there. And our mowers over here... He's actually cut every single blade of grass so far. That's really good. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. Okay, so we'll go back to you. And we'll run you up. And we've got we've still got more stuff to do on the field. So we'll run this one up. I know there's a slight corner on the end down there. Which is actually going to really bug me. So I'm going to go back down there and I'm going to do that again. Um, all I'll do is I'll start it from this end. And I'll allow create field and lower that in like that. And then I'll sort of bring it out like that. And then I'll bring it in like this. There. It's definitely not how I wanted to do this field. I didn't want it sticking down this far at the bottom end. But um, that's going to make it a little bit more even, I think. There. Right. Now I'll turn off the allow create field just for a minute while we, we move back up. And yeah, it's not brilliant. It's not perfect, but at least we've got a sweeping curve on there instead of a corner. And I feel that that is a step in the right direction. As soon as we've... As soon as that one has gone all the way up across the field there, which is currently doing, I'm going to move it over to the other field, but I'm not actually going to go around the edge. I'm just going to set it... Go I'm just going to drop it into the field and set it going on its own. And I'm hoping it'll kind of do most of it and just, just, like, carry on. And then we can go around and we can tidy up afterwards. That might be the fastest way of doing it. So, allow create fields and drop that one down into there. I can get this bit done. So, I want to do a strip up through to here. And then we've got a strip between the fields. And then that's pretty much it. There is that one strip over there. I got a little bit through there. Helper E. Oh, no. Helper E is the, the mower. Right. Well, we'll have to run down there in a minute. Help A should have completed his task in just a moment. We should have that any second now. What is he doing? Actually coming up to say that he's completed his task. When he should be. This one here, I'm hoping that the cultivator... Yes, the cultivator has... Uh, Helper J has now completed. Right, okay. So that one's done as well. We're going to... Oh, no, I'm going to... I'm not going to. We'll come back to this one. That's one that we can come back to. So we go to you. Start you up. And you have indeed now gone all the way over everything. So, oh no you haven't. Right. Fold a minute. I need to just do that bit. Uh, unfold all the way out. And do that. Right. Now we can start folding it up. Just <laughs> missed that fence. Only just, but I did miss it. It's okay. I think there was a couple of spots of crop right down this other end. We'll, we'll, gather, we'll get those with a different cultivator, I think. We'll, at least I'm hoping we will. I'm going to get this one over to the other field now. And that's the one issue with the big bud, right? It's a wonderful, wonderful tractor. But my goodness me, slow on his feet, isn't he? Now we've got to squeeze all the way down this bit. And hope that we can get through. And keep an eye out for the train. I'm not even going to bother trying to weave in between those things. Um, start unfolding. What I think I might do. So I was saying that I'm not going to um, manually go around the edge. But I think I might just manually do a little bit up alongside here. Just to get it started. And then when we get up near the bit that I want to go to. We'll just let the hide help carry on. So if I do that, there we go. We haven't got allow create fields going on this one. So all I want to do is bring the cultivator up here. I seem to remember, though, that this one struggled. Because it's so wide, it didn't like turning round on the edges of the fields. Uh, the, the, it didn't like doing any turning at all. It, it really struggled with actually turning round. So we might not be able to get this to work properly. I might have to try and do most of this one manually. Um, I won't give up on the field. We will actually include this field in our work. So I'm just going to press H right there and let that one keep going. And we'll see how far he's going to go. He's, I don't know if it's going to go right over to the road, if, if it's going to pull out beyond the road or what. Oh, he will. He's, he's cultivating the road. He's going to cultivate the road all the way out through. And he's going to get to... 
Okay, that's as far as he's going, and now we've got a tree. Is he going to get round it? Alright. I have reasonable faith in his abilities. We'll let that one carry on there. And I want to go back to this one. Wait. Why do you do that? Why do you turn round and then give up? Right? Why bother turning round and then giving up? Why not? If you're going to give up, give up when you get to like the end of the row. Why do you turn round, line yourself up, face the grass, and then say, Oh, I can't see it. And then stop. I, I cannot fathom that bit. It, it makes no logical sense to me whatsoever. So while that one's doing its bit there, this one here, we'll take this one. This, this is the perfect tractor for doing the turning and the rowing up, actually. The turner is in behind the rake, so we'll bring that one back. And I'd also like to use this tractor for doing the bailing, as long as the, the power is sufficient on it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that one out to there because we're going to be using it in a very, very short while, so we'll, we'll get to that one. And we'll back into here. Round and round we go. In there. And... Right, hook that one on. There. Now. One out. That tractor's turning up there. It's, it's turning round. But whether it's actually doing what it's supposed to do, I'm not really sure. And, interestingly, the mower did come out and it went over that bit there. And it actually mowed it all properly, which I didn't actually expect it to do. So we can unfold the rake, uh, the turner, right here. We've got a nice big turner. Should go through it fairly quickly. And the mower is going through it. It's actually going to mow it. So let me just go up here. And you are... You can lift that one, and you're done. Okay, fantastic. Switch that off, and then we'll fold that one, and we'll fold that one as well. I'll run this one down to the bottom. I'm just going to park this one up down here somewhere, and we're going to dump it for a second. Um, yeah, in theory, that trailer there should already have all the script and everything for uh, small bales. So there shouldn't be any issues with it. It should all work exactly as we want it to. Let's start you up. Go up round here. All of the giant modded tractors uh, that they've got, with the 1.4 update, I had a whole load of updates to do for the... Um, for the actual track, all of the mods that they've included, all, all of the older machinery that they'd um, gone and released as mods. And there was a, a file involved for every single one of them. I did see some people posting that it was because there was some serious error with the actual 1.4 update. This is not the case. This is definitely not the case. It is not due to any errors. One of the big things that they've done with the 1.4 update is that they have done some serious improvements to the sounds on all of the machinery. Because um, there was quite a lot of issues that people had with sounds and the way the sound was working on them and so on and so forth. Um... So all of the updates that they released were actually sound file improvements. Because um, they had to release them all individually for the modded ones. And they went through and did all the base game machinery. But they also had to go through and do the modded ones as well. So that's what that update was. There's, there's, there was a small update for almost every single one. And um, that's, that's what it was. Just sound file updates. So it's, it's nothing like major, there was no like major errors or anything like that. It was simply just allowing the sound files to have their update properly. Which is actually really good, that, that is a really good thing I think. Um, it means that all of the tractors that Giants at least have released should have the correct sounds and the sounds should be working in the right way. It was to do, I think, a lot of it was uh, when the engine was ticking over when it was um, giving the sound of being under load, like it would go up a hill and you'd be working in a field and it would give, like the sound would be as though the engine was just ticking over as you were going up a hill, which is really not what it should be doing. It shouldn't have that kind of sound when it's, it's supposed to be sort of going up and down a hill. Um, anyway, hopefully it's all been sorted. And I've... I've sort of noticed a little bit with the sound, but 
never really anything that had bothered me or concerned me very much. Um, but I know that some people... Like, I've, I've never really been one for worrying too much about the sound anyway. I like, I, I like listen to the to music soundtrack on a lot of games. But beyond that, I, I'm never too concerned about sort of sound qualities. It's... I don't really have the ear for it, which does make life difficult for me sometimes as a YouTuber because I need to sort of try to learn um, whether the sound whether sound quality is, is right or not. Um, so that is a bit of a challenge for me sometimes. But, um, yeah. So those of you who are actually pretty savvy with your sound and, and how things should sound and so on, have you noticed any improvements with the sounds for the game? Has, has there been anything, has, has it sort of done what it should be doing or not? I have just noticed that we are missing big strips of grass up here. Uh, that would be because of the uneven ground. We'll let that one carry on and do what it's going to do now. And we're wanting to go back to this one. Let's just quickly check the other one a minute. It is... Actually... Seems to be doing a good job. Ah... Well, that's good. We'll, we'll let that one keep going. And we will go to you. And we will keep going with you. So we've got a field to make right here. So this, just on the right-hand side, is the field that already exists. And then we've got our new strip of field that we're making up through this side here, where I'm now driving. And I'm not going to need to go over this very many more times. We, we, the cultivator is still drifting off to the side. Which seems highly improbable, considering the weight of this thing and what we're doing. We're plowing into new ground with this. We've got sort of a, a culty plow type thing. And it's, it's definitely really pushing the, the, the boundaries of what this cultivator could do anyway, because it's all grass underneath. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that these types of cultivators... that They're not really designed for going into grass like this. That... that tends to make them struggle more than most other stuff. If it was just going into stubble crop, then yeah, that, that would be a little bit better. But doing it into this, I think that's really pushing what the machine is actually capable of doing. Just what, what, it, what it's physically able to go and do. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure all the way down to the bottom end now, um, we don't have any extra field. We, we, we did it all in the single pass. So I'm just going to come around there and then we'll pick up and we'll go back over this side. And we'll carry on doing this bit. It's only going to be one or two. And then we'll be able to let the hired help carry on on this bit. Which means that while the hired help is doing this bit, we can go back to our hay and just sort of nurse the last of that through. Um, help the little tractor get through that. And then we should... We can get the, like, the rowing up. That should be nice and fast. We should be able to get through the rowing up pretty quickly. And as soon as that's done, we can get that little baler going. And that's the one thing that I'm really looking forward to doing this week, is the little baler. The, as soon as I seen it there, I was like, I've got to try this one. And I, I was almost tempted to go and try it in my own time, just like, you know, see, I was just going to sensibly test it and make sure it would be good for videos. Um, and then I thought, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to sort of spoil the surprise. I don't want to spoil the, the sensation of being able to use it for the first time. No, it's all going to be done live on camera. So I've never actually tried it. I've not even seen a video of it being used. This is the first ever experience that I will have with this uh, new small baler. And you know what I'm like with small bales? Small bales, I, like, I, I have a lot of happy memories with doing small bales. And um, so they're always something that, that mean a lot to me. And I always, it's one of my favorite mods when they come out is being able to do some stuff with small bales. I absolutely love being able to do stuff with small bales. It, it, it just absolutely makes my day. It really does. I'll just get to the end of that little strip right there, and then we will hoik it up out of the ground like that, and we'll run down to this end. We'll dump it back in, and we've got one strip along there to do, and then I'm pretty sure that is absolutely everything all the way around this field all completely done. Even down the bottom end, where we're a little bit wider running on it down there. Pretty sure there's everything on that all the way down through. So we'll drop you down into there. Like that. And 
One single pass up across there. Then we're going to need to just set the hired help going with cultivating the rest of the bits in the fields. And so I will turn the allow create fields bit off because if you don't, you can actually use hired help now to allow create fields. It doesn't actually switch it off. So if I was to run the cultivator along the edge of the field with the hired help going, it would allow create fields. And so the hired help would go along and create a much bigger field, which is it, it's really good in that you can use the hired help to set the edge of a field. And so you've got a nice straight edge line, you know, a nice straight edge along the side of it, if that's what you want. Uh, but at the same time, you've also got to remember that it's doing it. So you don't accidentally go through and, like, put a huge, great big extra width all the way around the field. Fortunately, it won't keep doing it. If you don't have any field there at all marked out, you put the hide help going, it will just stop as normal. But if I was cultivating the field on my right and I had to hide help going, it would be doing this all the way down through. It would actually class that as all part of its field. So we get to there, and I'll switch the allow create fields off so that I don't forget that it's actually there at all. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is all we need to do. If I look in here, we go to growth like that, zoom in. There doesn't appear to be any gaps on any of it anywhere. So we can start letting this one work up and down here now so I'll bring you over there like that and sort of about that point I should think back it up a little bit and I'll start right there I'll just let that one go because it's not going to go across that gap well I don't think it will I think it will just go up to the edge of where I've cultivated there in a strip We'll have to work that as three separate fields just while we're doing the cultivating. Once cultivating is finished, once it's done that bit, it'll then carry on and it should do all the rest of it without any issues. So I'll let that one go on there and we're going to go up this side and take a quick look here. And the cultivator is actually... It ran all the way up the road to go and do that bit, which is <laughs> brilliant that it did it. Um, it, it's not stopped yet. It's still going. The hired help is doing a brilliant job on his field. But we got no, I got no complaints with that. It's doing an absolutely wonderful job on his field, going all the way up through. So I'm going to let that one just keep doing what it's doing and hope that it carries on doing what it's doing. And we're going to go down here to this one. So how are we getting on? We've got... Actually, it seems to be doing everything that it should be doing. There doesn't appear to be any bits missing. We, we have got... Yeah, just jump off. It was a bit up here. It was all the way up at the top. Yeah. There's just one piece right here. It was a couple bits just on this single pass on the field that it left a bit. And there wasn't... And there isn't any more. All the rest of it is absolutely perfect. There's, there's, there's no issues up through here. There is one tiny patch right there that it missed for some strange reason quite sure why but it should get that when it comes back down through there's um, no reason to think that it won't actually so we go to you everything on this end does actually appear to be all where it should be there doesn't seem to be any problems here that's a very strange thing that it does if the ground is uneven it will actually even though the thing is up in the air it still counts so the game doesn't sort of stop it from working when it's up in the air what the game does is it just lifts up the, air, the sort of the AOE effect of it. It's, well, we've seen that with the front-mounted mower. The mower does it terribly. Unless the, the ground is absolutely perfectly level, it does have this tendency to keep going and, and, and work all the way through it, which is, which is a bit of a nuisance. And it's, it's not something that we really want to be happening. Now, is it going to get that one errant little spot right there? It sort of done it well, I think it has and it does also appear to be going back all the way to the beginning to get this next bit we're gonna need to we are gonna need to tidy this up that is something that we're gonna have to do so he's gonna go to there and then now he's gonna turn around oh well, she she's going to turn around now she's going to turn around sensibly and carefully without causing us any problems and then, once that's done, 
It's, it's this bit right here. I'm curious how much of it is going to leave behind. So we've set we've set down onto the ground, how you should. And then up over that bit. And yeah, this, this leap. Actually, that's not left behind anywhere near as much as I thought it might. I thought it was going to leave behind a bit more than that. So that's working well. We've got good things going on here. And then... The next thing that we were going to test was whether or not we need... Was one of the th oh now you're doing now you nope oh, I pressed enter I don't want to press enter on that you're doing your crazy thing don't want you doing your crazy thing here I've actually got oh I know why it's doing the crazy thing is because there's a little bit of grass right there no nope, start up there's a little bit right there that'd be why it was doing its crazy thing so let me go over here and actually you know what let's while while we've got this one let's just go up here and tidy up the other bits and then we can set the hired help going again just to finish off this field i would like to bale this whole field in small bales i don't want to just do one or two i'd like to do the whole field in small bales i think that's i, I think that's going to be quite good fun to do that because that's going to give us a, a, a fair few bales that we can then test our trailer with as well and see how good it is for picking up the bales and that's that's something that's very important to me is being able to pick them up because whilst small bales are great having to pick them up by hand not so great okay definitely not so great the whole having to pick the small bales up by hand bit so if we can avoid doing the picking them up by hand that would be just wonderful that, that that would really that would really make the small bales much better in my my opinion i like i like them I, I think they're wonderful and i do think that it's quite cool being able to pick up the small bales and stack them up manually that's that's a, a brilliant thing that was we were able to start doing in oops help if i actually had it running it was a, a brilliant thing we we're able to start doing in fs17 was physically picking up small bales one at a time and and doing it like that wonderful wonderful thing that we were able to do uh yeah that, that that's that's great and all but honestly i don't want to be picking up 500 small bales i absolutely don't want to i do not want to pick up 500 small bales at all i got no desire to do that i want an auto load trailer to be able to pick up small bales and go through pick up all of the small bales with an auto load trailer and then sell them like that as well because uh, then then we don't have to throw them around by hand because, quite frankly, that is a, a, a rather tedious and, and slow procedure that I don't really want to be involved in. Let's bring you down to that end there. Right, so while you're doing that, the big bud is, yeah, as I suspected, it's only doing the one field. So that one's going to carry on there doing that. That one is turning around perfectly on here. It's done a perfect turn every single time. I'm actually really impressed by that. Every single time it's gone through, it's done a perfect turn. And it's not... I was about to say, it's not left any strips anywhere either, but now it's its working on the side of a hill, so it's going to leave a strip. This, the, I don't get why the hired help does that. Something to do with how the game maps the routes for hired help on um, the side of a steep hill. I don't understand how it works, but yeah, that th there is some technical reason for it, isn't there? Now, let's get you. And what I was going to do was I was just going to load the seed drill, wasn't I? It's going to try just loading the seed drill, and we'll take this one up and we'll see what we can do with this because this one doesn't actually do fertilizer, does it? This one only does seed. Yeah. So I need to load this one here up with seed, and we'll ignore the other one. Um, and we'll sort of see... Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.